Hello and good morning my 3k friends. I hope everybody had a wonderful winter break and that you had a happy and healthy new year. So we have to get started for the day because we have a new month, a new year, and a whole new unit going on. So if you could see here, it says that our new month looks a little different than last month. Last time was December. So now we have the month called January. And this is my favorite month because my birthday is in January. Okay, and we have a new year here. It used to be 2020 or 2020. And now it is 2021 or some people call it 2021. We are still in the winter season. So we're going to begin with our calendar. Oops, sorry, I know it's glare there. Okay, so um, let's count to see what number comes next to see what we will put here for today. One, two, three, four. Good, so we're gonna put a four right here. And after Sunday comes Monday. So today is Monday, January 4th. 2021. Okay, so I mentioned that we have a new unit. We are still talking about exploring and our environment. This month, we're going to be talking about investigating. Investigating means that we are using our five senses, right? Our eyes, our nose, our mouth, our ears, and our hands, our five senses to discover things. We want to be detectives. And sometimes with investigating, we have to take notice of the, <coughs> excuse me, of the things that change or maybe don't change. Okay, sometimes we might do something like an experiment or an observation that we observe with our eyes, okay? You might hear descriptive words this week like sticky or cold or gooey, okay? So we might want to pay attention to some descriptive words. That helps us with our investigation when we are talking about things that we're discovering, okay? So with that being said, we're going to be reading a book called If You Give a Pig a Pancake, and it's by Laura Numeroff, so that is the author, and it's illustrated by Felicia Bond. And that is our illustrator. So the author is the person who writes the words for the story. The illustrator is the person who draws or paints the pictures in our story, okay? So I'll read it and then we will talk about the activity for the day. If you give a pig a pancake, if you give a pig a pancake, you, <laughs> she'll want some syrup to go with it. You'll give her some of your favorite maple syrup. Syrup is something that goes on your pancakes. She'll probably get all sticky, right? There's a descriptive word right there, sticky. So she'll want to take a bath. She'll ask you for some bubbles. Ooh, that's a little clue at what we might be doing this week. When you give her the bubbles, she'll probably ask you for a toy. You'll have to find your rubber ducky. Do any of you use a rubber ducky in the tub? Like this? The duck will remind her of the farm where she was born. She might feel homesick and want to visit her family. She'll want you to come too. She'll look through your closet for a suitcase. I guess they're going to go visit the pig's family. Then she'll look under your bed. When she's under the bed, she'll find your old tap shoes. She'll try them on. She'll probably need something special to wear with them. Oh boy, the pig had put on the tap shoes. Huh. When she's all dressed, she'll ask for some music. You'll play your very best piano piece and she'll start dancing. Look at the pig dancing. 
silly piggy. Then she'll want you to take her picture. So you'll have to get your camera. This looks exhausting. When she sees the picture, she'll ask you to take more. Then she'll want to send one to each of her friends. You'll have to give her some envelopes and stamps and take her to the mailbox. On the way, she'll see the tree in your backyard. She'll want to build a tree house. So you'll have to get her some wood, a hammer, and some nails. When the tree house is finished, she'll want to decorate it. She'll ask for wallpaper and glue. Ooh, glue, that might be something we might be using this week. When she hangs the wallpaper, she'll get all sticky. Feeling sticky will remind her of your favorite maple syrup. She'll probably ask you for some. And chances are, if she asks you for some syrup, she'll want a pancake to go with it. The end. All right, so that story went all the way back to a pancake. Look at that. So we heard some descriptive words like sticky. Um, we also saw that the piggy was using glue and creating and building the um, um, the what was it at the end of the story? Uh, da, 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 the treehouse. <laughs> I was going to say a shed because I saw a shed in the picture. But so she wanted to build the tree house and she needed all these materials. Okay. So she needed the hammer. She needed the glue. She needed the wood. So we, you heard about the music in the story, right? They played the piano and the piggy was dancing. So today you're going to make your own music. The materials that you need are a couple of different glasses and water. Okay, that is all you need. You're going to fill the glasses with different water levels and you're going to make your own water xylophone. Okay, so a xylophone, you might usually see them, it's like ding, 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 and you hear different sounds coming from the xylophone, right? I want you to pay attention and notice the different sounds that you're going to hear from the different levels of water. Now, normally I would do this activity, but I want you to experience the sounds on your own and tell me if you hear different sounds, the same sounds, maybe they sound similar. Okay. And you can use a spoon or a fork or something and tap the glass gently just to hear the sounds. Okay, so today's activity is to make your own water xylophone and maybe play a song, okay? Or play the different sounds that you might hear on it. Uh, adults, if you can record it, that would be great. If not, just please take a picture of the different glasses that they're using for the water xylophone. Okay, again, I want to wish everybody a happy and healthy 2021. This is going to be a very exciting week. We have a lot of really fun activities. Um, we're asking if you can, please make sure that you have some of the materials that are in the newsletter. So please go to the newsletter that I've attached um, in the weekly activities and look at some of the materials that are on there that we, we will need for the week. As always, if you don't have it, try your best. Um, we tried to use things that are in the house already and that don't require you leaving to go to the store to purchase anything. So um, a reminder, question of the day for your attendance, please answer that as early as possible. And we are going to have so much fun this week. So if you're excited, give me a big smile. All right. Have a wonderful day.